You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. We should at least try. Okay, we need to go and find this Kareem Tilly. She's doing a job in this town, and she's going to potentially be able to find us some information on Siri. But, of course, we got to work for it. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareem is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. I love how in this world the supernatural things are just so common that everybody just accepts them as part of life. Monsters are so common and in this place ghosts are so common that the owner just accepts the fact that it's haunted. Doesn't even question it. <laughs> if, if this were a movie based in like the modern world, nobody would suspect that it was haunted or nobody would believe that it was haunted until... Well, la uh, well later on, but in this, the dude's like, oh, it's haunted. You know how that affects the, the uh, real estate value. <laughs> I just think that's that's funny. Of course, uh, for a house that was just recently on the market, and as far as I can tell, the guy was never in here, certainly a lot of shit left to steal. Nobody ever cares that Geralt just steals all their shit. <laughs> Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. Having previously played the mission, um, the Crones of Crookback Bog, we are able to recognize the creature that was standing over her as a godling. Now, godlings are not really portrayed as being evil in any way, mischievous, sure, that's for damn sure, but not really evil. Of course, seeing what's happening to Kareem Tilly right here does kind of come across as this godling is, well, sort of evil putting her through those nightmares and not letting her wake up, getting stuck in that kind of thing. That's just, that's just outright torture. It may not have killed her in any way, but it seems like a terrible kind of hell to be stuck in. But, you know, who am I to judge?
Boo! Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. It occurred to me after I'd finished this mission that perhaps the most merciful thing I could have done was send Sarah on her way. Because I happen to know that she will eventually find her way to Johnny, the other godling that we had seen in Crookback Bog. Now, I don't know what kind of personalities or relationships that these godlings seem to have with each other, but Geralt does make note that there aren't too many godlings left around. They've been pushed away from human settlements. I don't know if they've been killed or not, but they seem to have been pushed away from human settlements. So it's possible that these two don't really know of any of any other of themselves. So, if you had sent her away, she would have found her way to Johnny. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. Moving on. I, I don't know if it has any kind of an effect further out. I guess I could look that up later, but I don't think it has a significant effect on the game. Like most choices don't have a big effect. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Okay, well, she's woken up and she's willing to help us. We just gotta go 
run over to her house, but first things first, we gotta deal with the landlord. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well... It shan't put me in the poorhouse. If I were Geralt, I probably would have taken a minute to talk to Kareen about what the story he was going to tell the landlord was. Because if he was going to lie to the landlord for the sake of protecting Sarah's claim to that house, perhaps he should have made sure that she was going to tell that Kareen was going to tell the same story as Geralt. Because I guarantee this guy wanting to protect his own investment is going to talk to her directly about what she had seen and Geralt didn't make sure that they're going to tell the same story but you know maybe I'm just thinking too much I should stop that it makes my head hurt I accepted a job once did it asked to choose my reward I invoked the law of surprise Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. 